Hello everyone, my name is Audrey and in this video, I'll be guiding you through the steps to install, configure, and use Multigo on Kyle Linux. Kyle Linux, known initially as Backtrack Linux, is a free and open source operating system that allows users to perform advanced penetration testing, network forensics, and security auditing. It is packed with various pre-installed tools that can be used for tasks like vulnerability analysis, network scanning, and digital forensics. In this tutorial, I will show you the steps to install, configure, and use a tool within Kyle Linux. Specifically, we will be focusing on Multigo. So when it comes to searching online for information like domain name records, websites, or email records, there are not many tools available that can present the desired information in an easily comprehensible graphical sense that is easy to understand. Multigo is one of those tools that can. And since we are using Kyle Linux for this tutorial, Multigo already comes pre-installed in the system. So Multigo is an open source intelligence tool developed by Paterfa. It lets you mine, gather information, and visualize connections in complex datasets, displaying interconnected links in an understandable way. With just a few mouse clicks, you can identify important relationships between the objects you enter into the graph view, while Multigo does data mining work behind the scenes. Okay, so now let's begin the process of installing Multigo on Kali Linux. So to do so, you can go to your terminal in Kali Linux. And then you can simply type the following command, which is sudo apt install dash y multigo. And then press enter and type in your sudo admin password for your Kali Linux. And once it's done, you can now run Multigo on your device. So once you have successfully installed Multigo, you can launch it by typing in Multigo on your terminal. Or another option that you can do is you can go to the application menu right over here and then search for Multigo and you can click on it to also launch the application. So when you launch Multigo for the first time, you will see um, an initial window prompting you to select a product. So in here, you're going to select Multigo CE Free to use the Community Edition, which is suitable for our tutorial. So if you don't have an account for Multigo yet, you can click on the register button to make one. And here you will be redirected to the registration page and you can Follow the registration steps required by filling in your credentials to make an account. So once you've done that, or if you already have an account, um, you can click on the login button. And then here you can see the license agreement. You can read on it and click accept and click next. So here you will be logging in with your Multigo ID or you can also do a browser login. For an easier step, I would recommend you to log in using the browser login. So you click on it and you will be redirected to the login page. Fill in your credentials and sign in. And once authentication is completed, you can close the browser and you can click on next. And here um, you're going to install the transforms um, from the standard transform CE. So make sure that it's checked and then click next. And here you can see um, the list of the following items that were downloaded. So click next. And then 
this um, screen will ask you if you want to send error reports to Patervo or not. You can checkmark yes if you want or you can also leave it empty if you don't want to send any error report. So once you have decided on that, you can click next. And then here you can choose the default system browser or any browser of your preference for the web browser options. So for me, I'm going to use the default system browser and I'm going to be clicking on finish. And once finished, you can now use the application. Okay, so as you can see, here is the GUI of Multigo. And before actually using it, I'll be explaining the basic interface of it so you guys can get familiar with it. So on the top left screen of the Multigo, you can see the application menu. And if you click on it, it provides several basic, basic functions like create a new graph for analysis, open an existing graph saved on your device, save the current graph, save all changes made to any open graphs and save the current graph under a different name or location. And then on the left side of the screen, you can see the Multigo start page. And in here, it provides quick access to the latest updates related to Multigo. You can find updates for products and features, information about available transforms, and the transform hub and it alerts about any issues that may affect Multigo's functionality or security. And then on the big screen right here, you can see the transform hub and transform hub is basically where it allows users to easily install transforms built by different data providers. So you can either purchase these items or install them for free. So now I'll be showing you guys how to install one of the transforms in Multigo Community Edition in the Multigo Transform Hub. And I will be showing you guys on how to install Census Transform, which is one of the um, transform that is used to query data sources for investigations. So to do so, firstly, you need to um, use the filter options right here you click on the not installed and then you click the Multigo community for the plans and then scroll down a bit and search for census which is right over here and it's basically a transform that allows users to map and gather information about IP addresses, domains, and other internet connected assets. So you click on install, click yes. And then you can see the following items that were downloaded. Click next and then click on finish. Okay, so once you have installed census, you can now start an investigation. An investigation in Multigo is the process of gathering, analyzing, and visualizing data related to a specific subject that can help users to uncover relationships and connections between various data points. So to start, you click on the machine tabs on the top of the Multigo window, and then click on Run Machine. So a machine is simply what type of footprinting we want to do against our target. So choose the machine that you want to run and for this tutorial, I will choose the company stalker CE and click next. And then here you will be prompted to enter a domain name as the target. For example, I will name the domain name um, demo.net and then click finish. And here you can see that Multigo shows you the gathered information on our target and display it on the screen. 
So that is all for the tutorial on how to install, configure, and also use Maltego on Kali Linux. Thank you guys for watching.